Yeah, well, it's day 15 and we're somewhere over Kazakhstan, uh, unless I've got this upside down. <laughs> but uh, no, good news is we're still on schedule, aren't we, Johnny Boy? Hey? Yes, Chef. Yeah, me and Johnny got this whole chef, sous chef thing going on. <laughs> oh, let's put that down there. Ah, oh, yay! I don't know, we've, uh, we've done some mad shit in the past, but this really takes... My, my name is... I know, God. My name is Philip. Philip Phillips. I designed the stationery for W.H. Smith. This man beats me on. I've worked out that he's some sort of celebrity chef. He thinks this is a travel program. He thinks I'm his friend. He's taking me around the world. He's not a fucking man. We never land. Time. Who are you talking to? I miss you, Rebecca. Tell the kids I love them. If you see this, anyone sees this. It's not television. Hey! Hey! Нашел эту кассету. На месте крышения жала. Куда там Чарли Бурману? She's always coming over to my desk to get a pencil and, you know, brushing against my shoulder and smelling my hair, and it just makes me feel very uncomfortable. So basically, you're accusing Claire of sexual harassment in the workplace? No, I. Well, sort of. Well, let's get her in here, see what she has to say about it. Oh, Claire, can you come in here, please? Oh, I'll, I'll have to call you back. Uh, uh, yes, Claire, come in and shut the door, please. Um... Yeah, this, this is a, a, a little bit delicate. Um, M Mike says that you've been a bit inappropriate in, in the office. What? What do you mean? Well, it's, it just it sometimes feels... I, I feel a little bit uncomfortable sometimes with the, with the touching. Well, yeah, I'm, I'm sorry, genuinely. I, I thought I was just being, you know, friendly. There you go, Mike. She was just being friendly. And from my point of view, I don't know what you were complaining about. Martin! I know this seems like a lot of fuss about nothing, but I honestly think if I were a woman... Maintenance! Oh, yep, come on in. Oh, I'm really not comfortable with... Mike, it's fine. They're just doing something with the wires in the ceiling, and none of them can speak any English anyway. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry, uh, Mike, you, you were saying... What's the thing? I really think... You would take this a lot more seriously if I were a woman. Yes, you're, you're right, Mike. But perhaps I was being unfair. Sorry, Mike. Uh, Claire. You know, I'll make more of an effort to respect your personal space, Mike. Thanks. There you go. That's all sorted. I, I think we'd probably better stay here till he's finished. Yeah. <clears throat> so, uh, have you got any exciting plans for the weekend? Not really. Yeah, really. yeah. Me yeah. yeah, neither. I am going to Santa Parks. <laughs> it's Saturday night, it's 6.38, and it's time for Bavaria's top entertainment show, Reports Mode. Good evening, good evening, and welcome. Well, that's enough about the time of day. So, let's get straight down to show business. Sharpen your pencils, it's Report 1. <laughs> Tickety bonk, stable at 5.6. Point two above the arithmetic mean, so hearty forty. <laughs> now, hold on to your helmets. As we head down to the quarry for report four. <laughs> Every 
they want a crackpot. Get it? Stop. I'm killing you. <laughs> On now with Portsmouth Collection Time. <laughs> Thank you, Feldman. <laughs> hmm. Of course, as many of you spotted, in last week's report, too, Sel Diaz should have read moderate. <laughs> Honky tonky. <laughs> so, let's take a break from all those reports to see how we at Reports Mode are doing in efficiency. <laughs> ah, levels have been maintained as they always must be. Isn't that right, Captain? <laughs> So this Deep South sketch, yeah. are we doing the accents? Yes, of course we're doing the accents. We're also wearing the costumes. What do you think we were going to do? Just hold the script up to a camera? Yes, all right. Actually, you'd love that, wouldn't you? No, in fact, I'll tell you what your ideal sketch show would be. Oh, please do. It's us wearing dinner jackets, sitting behind a desk, reading the scripts to camera on autocue. Finish now. Hello, welcome to the sketches. Evidently not. Interior day, a shop. A gentleman whose attire proclaims him to be from the southern United States enters. Dialogue. Ah, Mr. Beauregard, good day to you. And good day to you, too, Harlan. Couldn't think of another southern surname. L the point is, we're doing the accents. Can you do a southern American accent? Of course I can. Go on, then. Bass hog. Ba bass hog. Bass hog. <laughs> are all the lines in this sketch, boss hog? I can say other things too. I, I'm just a girl who can't say no. I mean a terrible fix. It's Welsh. Mommy, mommy, tear down the curtains and make me a dress. It's backwards. Y'all, y'all, ball, 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 Here. Actually, that's very good. Thank you. All you have to do now is teach me how to do it, and we're away. Ah, oh, Mr. Beauregard, good day to you. And a very good day to you too, Harlan. The designs are ready and waiting, if you were to step this way. Now, just to clarify, this is for everyone in your club to wear, isn't it? Not just the leaders. No, 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 this, this is for all of us. We require a smart, functional uniform that identifies us as members of the club and gives us a certain authority. Exactly as I thought. Well, I think you'll find this is perfect. <laughs> what the hell is that? I knew you'd like it. It's a ghost costume. Uh, no, it's imposing and awe-inspiring. It is if you're nine and scared of ghosts. Otherwise, it's a big nighty. I think it'd be very unfair. And, and what's this all about? The, the pointy hat? It'll make you look taller. It will not make us look taller. What it will make us look is pointier. But you specifically asked for a pointy hat. I, I meant like a, a tricorn hat, like a highwayman, not a Rapunzel hat. Look, well, just, just try it on. That's, that's all I ask. Once you see the effect. Oh, terrific. That's the perfect finishing touch, that is. Would you say you have an unusually small head? No! All right, fine, fine. I can cut eye holes. Eye holes? It'll increase your mystique. Harlan, perhaps you're under some sort of misapprehension. My companions and I have banded together to promote the resurgence of the Confederacy and subjugate the insolent slave race, not to go trick-or-treating. And, and, and what's this? KKK? It's the initials of your society. The initials of the Confederate Campaigners Club? Uh, no. Th no, no, of, of course not. It's, um, I came up with a new name for you. We don't want a new name. Yes, you do. Mine's much better. What is it, then? What is it? It's the... the... <laughs> uh, it's funny, it's just gone out of my head, but... Goodbye. Wait, wait, it's the... Ku Klux Klan. The Ku Klux Klan. Yes. This is just meaningless noise.